What's going on, y'all? Alex Good Energy. Look, I keep getting this question, right? What's the difference between a freight broker and a freight dispatcher, right? And in this video, I'm about to break it down to you. Check this out. Uh, so we're going to start with a freight broker, right? Freight broker is that person in the middle. This is the shipper, and this is the trucking company, the carrier, okay? Shipper contacts the broker and says, hey, look, I got a load of watermelons, for example, shipping from Georgia to Maryland, and I got $2,000, right? Broker then takes that same $2,000 and then subcontracts it out to the carrier for $1,800, okay? Carrier agrees. They do paperwork. Once the carrier delivers that load, broker gets paid from the shipper. Then broker then pays the carrier. He walks away with a $200 profit, okay? That broker has an agreement with that shipper, and he has to get that load moved for that shipper. The less money that he pays the carrier, the more money he gets to keep in his pocket, all right? So now, let's talk about a freight dispatcher. So we're going to go ahead and move the broker right here next to the shipper, right? And we're going to bring in the dispatcher. Now the dispatcher, right? He works for the carrier, though. But now he's the middleman now between a broker or a direct shipper to that carrier. So his job is to make sure that he negotiates the best rate possible on behalf of his carrier, so what he does is he charges a percentage to this carrier, you guys, right? So the more money he's able to make and get from the broker or the shipper is the bigger of a percentage that he gets paid from the carrier. So that dispatcher, his best interest is to make sure that this carrier makes as much money as possible so that everybody's happy, all right? So that is the difference, clear as day, between a freight broker and a dispatcher, man. I hope that makes sense. It's your boy Alice Good Energy, man. Let's go.